About a year ago, I was at Goodwill and found these three sheer curtains in this kind of a sea foam green color. And I had to have them even though I didn't know what I would make with them yet. And it was a half off Saturday, so I only paid $2 each. So it's a total of about six yards for $12. And then just a couple weeks ago, I was at Goodwill and walked down the bedding aisle and I found these sea foam green sheets for only about $5 each. And I was just so excited to find a match and knew I'd be able to make something amazing out of it. Bed sheets are actually one of my favorite sources of fabric because they come in very wide pieces. They also come in really pretty colors. They're very easy to wash and very comfortable and they're also very affordable. And the sheer curtains I purchased are about two yards each, which gives me six yards to work with, which isn't quite enough to be able to make a full dress. But if I combine them with the bed sheets and use the sheer as the top layer, then it looks like I have much more than I actually have, and the bed sheets will give the dress some nice structure and shape. I'm designing this dress with an elegant retro feel to it. It will have a squared out V neckline with a fitted bodies. It will have some light ruching or gathers on either side of the waistline to help give shape and definition. It will have some soft flowy sleeves as well as a soft flowy skirt. And then the sheer will be an over skirt that is split down the front with a little bit of gathering around the hip line. These sheer curtains have subtle texture and vertical lines that I took into account when laying out my pattern pieces. The sheer fabric required a lot of patience because it doesn't like to hold still and is difficult to keep square. I cut out each of the pattern pieces twice, one set out of the bed sheets and one set out of the sheer curtains. I created a simple wide facing around the neckline so it would lay smooth. My serger has a rolled hem option which comes in really handy for one step hems which I used on the flowy sleeves and the bottom of the skirt. To keep the waistlines on my dresses smooth and flattering, I typically avoid any gather stitches. But since the skirt attaches to the bodies of this dress at the hip line, a gathering stitch will actually make the waistline appear even slimmer by making the hip line appear slightly fuller. The last step was simply attaching the bodies to the skirt and installing a long zipper down the back of the dress. This dress is finally done and I am so happy with how it turned out. And even though the sheer was a bit of a pain to work with, it actually turned out a lot better than I had expected. I put this simple petticoat underneath the dress to give it some shape and volume. I really like the combination of this matte finish of the sheer top layer over the slight bit of shine and sheen that we get from the bed sheet material on the underneath layer. I split the sheer layer on the back of the dress so that I could really maximize the visual throw that I would get. Since I only had three curtain panels to work with, I was limited on my yardage. I really like how the ruching turned out on the side of the dress. It's very flattering and very very forgiving. Even though the design of this dress is a bit simple and understated, that makes it a perfect backdrop to be able to accessorize in a variety of styles. With my first model, I styled the dress with a boho feel. The talented Paige Palmer styled her hair in a full, loose side braid. I accessorized the dress with a colorful, chunky, boho style necklace and bracelets. I photographed her in my studio on my vintage wallpaper backdrop. With my next model, we went for a more glamorous twist to the dress. Paige styled the model's hair in a Hollywood side wave. I accessorized with a rhinestone studded necklace and earrings. I photographed her in my studio on my charcoal velvet chair that is so elegant, as well as on location in the courtyard of a beautiful Tuscan home. I went with a softer look for my next model by using cream-colored pearl jewelry and large artificial cream-colored flowers. I styled her hair in an elegant loose updo and photographed her in studio on my light gray canvas backdrop. I also wanted to style the dress in a bright graphic style. Paige styled my model's hair in a soft updo and I accessorized with gold-colored flowers and gold jewelry. I photographed her in my studio in front of a white sheer panel with backlight. I held some additional gold floral stems in the foreground to add some interesting framing to the composition. 
The result is elegant and striking. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more behind the scenes videos like this one, please click the subscribe button. This outfit is part of my studio wardrobe and is available to all my portrait clients. I devote all of my experience, resources, and energy to help my clients feel as amazing and confident as they're going to look. And if you'd like to learn more about scheduling a photo shoot with me, please click on the link to my website below.